A point hope at uh, RailMax Industries uh, just uh, along the Inner Harbour in, in Victoria on a really special day when we have seen uh, First Nations, uh, the City of Victoria and the province uh, come together and uh, strike an arrangement, con conclude uh, an arrangement that is going to benefit literally hundreds, I don't think thousands is an exaggeration of uh, men and women involved in the, uh, the maritime sector. We were kind of stuck stuck behind a fence, a hurdle if you will, and the province stepped in and said how can we help and they came up with, between the province and the city, they came up with a very innovative way to do it. The lands will end up being sold to Realmax, the city will get some things they want and for the province it means that there's some economic development in Victoria. You know, from Victoria we'll be able to create wealth that will be shared with the capital region district and the whole province. Uh, those are good paying jobs. Jobs that, well, as we call them, we call them household sustaining jobs. Jobs that you can uh, make sure that your, your home is here, that your family is taken care of, uh, that you're proud of the work that you do. That's all we're ever after. You know, I think is to have that, have that hand up, not a hand out. And this is an opportunity for our young people to, to step into this, into this business here and to be part of the workforce. Of, uh, of the in our traditional land here. Uh, they already employ uh, over 150 uh, men and women here. To be able to double that and tap into new markets, and we heard again the the initial benefits associated with an LNG uh, sector. Uh, we we heard the uh, the owner operator Ian talk about work already beginning to find its way here to Victoria in the maritime sector. So that's all good news and the uh, participation of the First Nations through Salish Sea Industries and uh, the city is tremendous.